We went through the first part of Simple Mind Pro a few months ago, and in today's video, we will be focusing on the second part of this application. Hey guys, it's Rob Zipak with Paperless X, a channel that is dedicated to helping you discover the best digital solutions for your business, education, creativity, productivity, and lifestyle. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Since we last reviewed this application, they have improved the user interface to make it look more modern. It's not very different from the old one, they just made the icon smaller and more polished, which is a good look for the app. For any mind map saved on the cloud, the first export option you get is synchronize with cloud, whichever it is. This makes sure your changes update across your devices. You can export the following formats out of Simple Mind Pro. You get these options when you want to send via email, print the mind map, export to files, export to Google Drive, and open in other applications. When exporting your PDFs via email, you can send the whole mind map or selected branches. Simple Mind Pro uses your mail app and emails from your contacts. Most emails, especially for Gmail, have a limit on the files you can send. So if your mind map is bigger than 25 megabytes, for example, you can't send it via Gmail. Sending the whole mind map created one page, but the font size of the notes is too small. So you have to rely on zooming in to read them, especially if the mind map is bigger than the one we just exported with more information. To export bigger text, you can export selected branches, which is not only a lot of work, but can get confusing very quickly. This will rely on your ability to track the branches you've exported and the ones you haven't. Other formats that allow you to export selected branches are PNG, HTML, and outline text. Simple Mind Pro can send multiple copies of files via email, any that you select from these options. When exporting PNG images, you can choose to export a transparent background and get to decide the image resolution you want. Exporting the highest resolution is the best and that is what we will export. A pop-up window for your email shows you the size of the file you are about to send. The extra high resolution for this mind map is not very big. The resolution for this image is quite impressive. You can create mind maps in this app to add to your documents in other apps. Outline text and HTML look the same, but the HTML format is better though. It has a better organization of your ideas. You can print your mind map, which we do not condone, but the printing option in most applications is a better way of exporting PDFs. You can choose to export the whole mind map or selected branches, you can choose to fit to page, shrink to page, tile and fit to page, and tile with scale. The best way to export with this printing option is to use the first two options. These can fit the whole mind map onto one page. Fragmenting the mind map will cut it in the most inconvenient places. And that's mostly because the application has an infinite canvas without any demarcations when you're creating your mind map. Simple Mind Pro needs to support finite pages or at least mark the canvas with finite partitions. That way we can have clues where the app will cut off our mind map if we wanted it on multiple pages. You can export your mind map in different sizes. Again, these are pointless if you don't have these options when creating the mind map in the first place. You can add page borders, rectangular page border, and page corner markers. When you tap print, you get a preview of your mind map. Zoom in on the page to open it for exporting options. You can save your mind map to photos as an image. The app doesn't even give you any settings for the image you save to your photos. The resolution you get with this option is not great. For print outline and open outline in, you have several things you can decide when you export your notes. You can export the whole mind map or selected branches. You can choose to export hierarchy outline, which shows all the information in your mind map. Topics with notes, which shows only the topics that have hidden notes in them. You can also export all the topics that have checkboxes. You also have the option to customize how your outline looks. You can choose to show the hierarchy, which helps you understand how the information is related. You can choose to show numbering show checkboxes, 
show notes, dates, and you can filter what you see to show hidden topics, topics with notes only, topics with checkboxes only, or topics with dates only. And you can choose the paper size you want. This is the best way to export your notes because the app doesn't cut them off in inconvenient places. The only downside to exporting outlines in Simple Mind Pro is that the application doesn't export your images or icons. It just exports the text in your mind map. Simple Mind Pro doesn't have good exporting options unless you're exporting the mind map to another mind mapping app. Even then, there's always something missing. Exporting PDFs seems to be the best option, but the app loses the links you create to other mind maps in the application. So what's created in Simple Mind Pro best stays in Simple Mind Pro. You can add the mind map to the app's template if this is a mind map you create often. The app copies everything down to the actual nodes and topics in the mind map. Simple Mind Pro can export your unchecked topics to Apple Reminders. If there are any things that need doing in your mind map, you can easily send that information to Apple Reminders. In the same way, the application lets you export topics to Apple Calendar. You can choose to export the whole mind map or selected topics, set a time for your event and add an alert a day before, two days before or a week before. This integration with Apple Reminders and Apple Calendar is great. Simple Mind Pro can store your mind map locally on the device or in the cloud. You can decide where you want to save every mind map you create in the application. In your cloud service, in our case Google Drive, you can sort your documents by name or date. You can also filter to see mind maps only or all supported files. You have the option to work online or offline. Mind maps you store online automatically sync across your devices. Simple Mind Pro supports an infinite number of organizational levels. We were patient enough to try up to 10 folders within folders. The app keeps your navigation history to help you jump between mind maps with ease. This serves as your recent tab, a place where you will find all your recently opened documents. We went through some of the app's settings already when they were relevant. Now we'll talk about all the settings we didn't mention in that video. In your general settings under topic tools, you can choose display hide tools for topics. A hide tool for a mind map is a must have. Sometimes you just want some elements not showing in your mind map. Display resize tools for topics. You can make your relations lines draggable. And lastly, in this section, you can choose a default layout for new mind maps you create in the application. Simple Mind Pro packs in a lot of impressive features and definitely gives you the best value for your money. We wish it had a collaboration feature though, because collaboration is a big way we work now in 2021. Again, this is just the second part of the video. We will link the first part in the description down below. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.